I am not a creature from another planet. I am a Jerusalemite. I have a few things to get off my chest. Because I am not a diplomat, I do not have to mince words. I do not have to please you. I owe you nothing. You did not build this city. You did not live in it. You did not defend it when they came to destroy it. And we will be damned if we will let you take it away. There was a Jerusalem before there was a New York. When Berlin, Moscow, London, and Paris were forced and swamped, there was a thriving Jewish community here. It gave something to the world. A humane, moral code. Hear the prophets walk, their words flashing like forked lightning. Here are people who wanted nothing more than to be left alone, fought and died on the battlements, and when finally led away into captivity, swore that before they forgot Jerusalem, they would see their tongues cleave to their palates, their right arms wither. For two pain-filled millennia, we pray daily to return to this city. On every Yom Kippur and Passover, we fervently voice the hope that next year would find us in Jerusalem. Your inquisitions, pogroms, expulsions, the ghettos into which you jammed us, your forced baptisms, your genteel anti-Semitism, and the final unspeakable horror, the Holocaust, and worse, your terrifying disinterest in it. All these have not broken us. Do you think that you can break us now? I have watched this city bombarded twice by nations calling themselves civilized. In 1948, while you looked on apathetically, I saw women and children blown to smithereens after we agreed to your request to internationalize the city and the savage sacking of the old city, the willful slaughter, the wanton destruction of every synagogue and religious school, the desecration of Jewish cemeteries, the sale by a ghoulish government of tombstones for building materials, army camps, even latrines. And you never said a word. You never breathed the slightest protest when the Jordanians shut off the holiest of our places, the Western Wall. Not a murmur came from you whenever the legionnaires opened fire upon our citizens from behind the walls. And twenty years later, when the Arabs unleashed a savage, unprovoked bombardment of the holy city again, did any of you do anything? The only time you came to life was when the city was at last reunited. Then you wrung your hands and spoke loftily of justice and the need for turning the other cheek. For the first time since the year 70, there is now complete religious freedom for all in Jerusalem. For the first time since the Romans put a torch to the temple, everyone has equal rights. We loathe the sword, but it was you who forced us to take it up. We crave peace, but we are not going back to the peace of 1948 as you would like us to. We are home. It has a lovely sound for a nation you have willed to wander over the face of the globe. We are not leaving. We are redeeming the pledge made by our forefathers. Jerusalem is being rebuilt next year and the year after, and after, and after, until the end of time, in Jerusalem.